Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room with a video presentation called Advanced Charting. And I'm calling it Advanced Charting because Tom did this session for a smaller group of students earlier in the week. And I'm going to go over and uh, do it uh, so that it gets into the video library where the wider array or wider number of students can take part in learning this education as well. What we're going to do by way of advanced charting is showing you that not only can you bring up the risk graph page and look at the PNL risk graph, you can also chart uh, a risk graph page to show you what the delta looks like charted, gamma, theta, and vega, basically all of the Greeks. So if we go to options, option chains, I'm going to leave it on the Johnson and Johnson there, but set the expiration date out for one more week out than the October 20th, which only has three days to expiration. We're gonna do it for 10 days. We're going to click update. We're going to bring up the options table and I'll just select the 137s as that corresponds to a 75 to 80 delta. So I click in one for the trade number column, left click on risk graph, and I wanna tighten up the risk graph in a sense that, well, here you have the chart graph on the top left, the PL, the profit and loss on the right top graph, the two bottom graphs are the implied volatility. Uh, the left one is the at the money implied volatility by way of uh, price of volatility. And then you have a percentage on the right hand side. So the red, blue, green, and black lines correspond to the profit and loss for that option based off the percentage move in implied volatility. What we're going to do is tighten up this risk graph. I'm going to take this upper limit of 169 and the lower limit of 112 and kind of zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to use just under the support level at 129 here, and I'll call it 128 for the lower limit, and about a point or two above the current price of Johnson & Johnson, which is about 140 and a half right now, I'll put the upper limit at 142. So down under the risk graph settings we go. Lower limit, 128. Upper limit, 142. Click on the green risk graph, and it will refresh the page, and it will have that profit and loss portion zoomed in as you see right here on the upper right hand side now let's go ahead and do a plot or a charting if you will of the greeks the delta gamma theta and vega where do you go to do that where do you find that back under the risk graph settings here you'll see that the risk graph variable window is set for profit and loss in dollars left click on that window and you'll see the other choices that you have now let's go with delta click on that line item click on risk graph what we're going to do now is look at that upper right hand portion here and you're going to see the delta plotted now it looks like a bull call spread risk graph but that's not the case we're looking at the time intervals on these colored lines red blue green and black and the red is the current date until expiration 10 days from now until expiration and each colored interval is about one third to one fourth of the way uh, through until expiration which is the black colored lines so the horizontal black line that you see here is the stock price that corresponds with the strike price that's 137 strike so that horizontal black line means 137 on the stock and at expiration anything under 137 is going to have a delta of zero anything above 137 at expiration will have a delta of 100 and the horizontal blue line is where we're at right now so if we go to the red line at the current price, we have a current delta of about 81, and that corresponds with the delta up above in the table. And as you get closer to expiration, you'll see what the effects on delta is. If you go down in price and you get closer to expiration, you'll see what the effects on delta is. It goes lower from a delta of 80 down to a delta of 40 if the stock's at around 136. All right, so that's delta. Let's scroll on down and bring up gamma in deltas and click on the risk graph again gamma don't get too hard and heavy into understanding guilt excuse me gamma entirely it's basically the rate of change in the delta with that one dollar price move so if you have a delta of 75 and a gamma of six on a one dollar price move higher if it's a call your delta is going to go from 75 plus the six gamma to 81 all right so let's go ahead and scroll on down here and take a look at the gamma graph. And you'll see where it is currently. The horizontal blue line is current stock price and the red interval is now until expiration. And you have a gamma of six, 6.3 and that coincides with above as well. What you're going to see here is the gamma is the greatest or it's the largest number uh, at the money. 
So if we go to that 137 stock price, you'll see that gamma over all time intervals, whether it be now or different intervals until expiration, is going to be the greatest at the money. Let's scroll on down and show you the theta in dollars gained per day or lost per day. If nothing changes by way of the stock price and one day of time goes by, the theta is how much you'll lose dollar-wise uh, for that day of time decay. And all of these charts are based off the mid quote, the highlighted green there. So it's a delta of minus 520. Let's go ahead and go up here to current date uh, at the current price. And there we are. It's at about minus 520. So again, if nothing changes on the price and one day of time value goes by, it's going to lose $5.24 on the theta. And the same thing in regards to the loss per day. It's greatest or the theta is uh, the greatest theta decay at the money. So here we are at that 137 price today in different intervals until expiration. You'll see that at the money, the theta is going to have the largest theta decay. Lastly, just to complete the views, we're going to show you the Vega. Click on the Vega, click on risk graph, and this is volatility. So it's the uh, money gained over an IV gain. So the IV percentage chain change, excuse me, is what you're looking at here over the different time intervals and at different prices. And here we are at the current uh, Vega with the current stock price as it relates to the time until expiration at that stock price. So there you are, folks. That's how you change and chart the different Greeks on your risk graph page. You use that risk graph variable right there. And I will see you on future videos. I hope you have enjoyed that one. Bye for now.